Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm joined today by the fashion designer and stylist, La Cayenne. Hello, La Cayenne. How are you? Hello. How are you, John? Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. Hey, listen, La Cayenne, I would love to share some of the styling work that you have done. Okay, if we look at some of your images or some of your designs? Of course, can wave to that. Wonderful. Okay, everyone, let's tune in now to some of the styling work of La Cayenne. I love it. Daring and cool. And listen, I really appreciate your designs. Will you tell me now, where are you from and how did you become a, a designer and stylist? I'm from Bologna, Italy, and I was born and raised here. Um, but at some point, I really wanted to check New York. <laughs> so I moved to the U.S. And um, long story short, I became a <laughs> Uh, very interested in styling uh, after uh, playing uh, for several years with my previous band I was really into rock and roll clothing and uh, that's where I really wanted to also style other people also um, out, out from my image I wanted also to um, work on uh, someone else's image right and uh, make this like a uh, um like art artistically uh and visually cool uh, i don't know if this may <laughs> maybe i can say it in other words no you're saying it beautifully i mean I, I get it you're like a mentor for others to be able to develop their style and you and you take yeah. the themes from you know your background in music and rock and roll and i grew up with you know uh music videos and some of the styles that were in that i mean the, the famous white snake video, for example, is like, you know, yeah. an iconic example of that, I think. Um, yeah, I'm really to like 80s music, you know, it's uh -huh. their shape. So also like disco music, but also electronic music and, and rock and roll and all combined. I like to, uh, I mean, not just stick to the main rock and roll kind of dressing, but also um, maybe um dress like uh, get inspired from like the cyberpunk uh, imagery like from uh, matrix or B blade runner and like mix it all up because i really love all those uh genres so i like to make something new from something old you know oh yes like i am what's <laughs> old is new again when you're working with it and you know what it's interesting but i also feel a real sensitivity or, or um gravitation to a lot of those styles and themes you're talking about, um, which, by the way, are really prevalent in festivals like Burning Man, for example. Um, those yeah. styles are very popular, and I appreciate them a lot. And I love going to that festival. So at any rate, um, that's really cool. Now, listen, coming yeah. from Bologna, Italy, and then working also in New York, these are real fashion capitals of the world. Um, and so you must have had some inspirations along the way as far as other designers or um, individuals that you felt were powerful artists of some kind. Is there anyone in particular that you modeled or followed or is this all just your own kind of self inspiration? It's more about like uh, the more inspiration that I uh, got so far was like from uh, movies that I watched or uh, like uh, people on stage that are or artists uh, singers or musicians that I that I really love and 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 I don't know I created my own uh, like uh, reality you know I, I would like to um, turn uh, this uh, vision that I have into something uh, real in my in my own world I don't know and no, so I, I dig it it's almost like um it could become a full length movie starring all your different, like, you know what I mean? Uh, featured yeah. clothing, or even if it's futuristic or some kind of science fiction type of situation or 
Um, I mean, I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to say is it has this ability to uh, create the scenes for a larger storyline. Yeah, and also I really get inspired from like people like living in New York for me is the best because every time I would walk on the streets, I would meet the most cool, the coolest people ever. Yeah. And uh, I would just start talking to them and we would become friends. And I, and just like sharing our stories, it give me like new ideas and, and new, I don't know, yeah, in, inspiration. So something that I want to work on. Well, La Cayana, I, I hear what you're saying. When you walk down the sidewalk in New York, my head yeah. would spin with all the cool fashions and individuals who are so interesting looking. Yeah. And, you know, but, but you also, I love your hairstyle and I love your style. It's so, I would feel the same way if I walked by you on the, on the sidewalk in New York. Or yeah, I, I was actually walking uh, on the streets with my Texan boots because I really love like cowboy fits. Huh. And uh, and I was walking very slow all the time. And people would ask me, why are you walking so slow? It's New York, man. <laughs> <laughs> Think I of don't the know. Day. It's just because <laughs> that I'm Italian, you know, and we take our time to do things. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. That was a funny story. That I, well, I like <laughs> that. And I like also, in a way, it's like you, you know, New Yorkers don't have a lot of... Um, patience for people who aren't you know with it right but right. as soon as you tell them like you know th there's immediate forgiveness and also interest oh you're from Italy cool you know um, yeah, yeah yeah I think a long time New York had like it, uh, a reputation uh, you know what I mean of, of people who you know could be rude or this or that and the fact that matters it's just the opposite New Yorkers are the greatest I love it out That's, there you know yeah. <clears throat> so Every time I go, I always feel embraced. And every time I go, I'm always amazed by just it all. Um, but certainly That's, you are doing wonderful want, work. There. You know, Lakayan. And so what are you working on now? What's your current focus? And what are you going to be doing here in the near future? So just now I, I started, I mean, a few months ago, I started doing my own uh, like leather jewelry that I'm uh, actually making like leather pieces, like chokers. Cool. like this one here like oh. or like for for the arm or whatever and uh, i want to also start doing uh like belts uh-huh and um cool i don't know like yeah. find a find a way to do something like original with um mixing up all the genres that i was telling you about and also i would like to style more and more people because it gives me so much like uh, cool ideas and uh i don't know i i for me uh i really love to uh meet new people and every time i go to new york i would meet so much uh, more new people to work with and it's it's just i feel like you know i'm living the life i want <laughs> and then uh, like the more the more i do it the more i i I mean, once you get in, in uh, uh, con getting new connections, uh -huh. then I don't know, I feel like opportunities come and come uh, like day after day, more and more, you know? So that's why I would like to move to New York and start my, my career over there because I feel it's much more like uh, powerful what you can do there. And also the, the background, the, this, the, the locations you can find, just photo shooting on the street. And I really love the, the vibe of the city. So, so do that's I. For now. Yeah. yeah, the pulse and the energy. And as you say, all those different scenes yeah. around every corner, there's something that's a photographic image that is cool. And you know, yeah. so, and I love the idea of your, uh, your leather lines and actually even including like bells and different things to create attention to someone yeah. walking by. It's just really cool. I, I love it. So we will. And a lot of. Uh -huh. And a lot of what? I love, I love chains, like stuff, yeah. like, like when you make a lot of sound while you're walking. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing you. <clears throat> you know, that's really kind of cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the new lines will be all about. La Cayenne. And so we will tune Thank into your social media channels because I'm sure that you will be updating them, your Instagram and others, uh, in order to keep us abreast of your latest 
developments. So I want everyone to tune in to Lakayan's social media channels you find below our interview today, and we will look forward to you coming up on Phoenix 360. Lakayan, thank you so much. Grazie. Thank you, are, you guys. You're wonderful. I appreciate you. And good luck, everything out there. And I hope you get to New York soon. Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody. Much love from Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Much love to you, too. Thank you, dear.